Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you today from my vehicle. I'm on my way into the main office trying to dip and dodge all these potholes out here. Just ridiculous. I don't see why people don't call the city and have them come out here and patch these roads. We're literally doing like this on the roads. And they don't let it be a two-lane street. Then, you know, you got to pull over and wait. And Anyway, don't buy, nobody want to hear about me fussing about these roads, right? So, on my way into the office, I have a meeting. You know, those yearly meetings that you have when you, you know, work for a company. So, I'm a little, hmm, I'm not going to say nervous, but I'm a little, uh, hmm, indifferent feeling right now. So, I'm trying to, trying to get my mind right, trying to get prayed up. <laughs> but, you know, like I told my husband, and like he always tells me, it's, you know, things are already written. So, Lord have mercy. Jesus. My child, I'm going to be late for work while you sitting there. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, you know, things are already written. Things will happen as they may. So, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to be about it, you know. I'm going to go in there with my head held high. I look good today, you know. I do say so myself. I dressed the part. So, because actually I was dressed differently. Um, I had on, I just had on like a t-shirt and just some, I had on a black t-shirt and uh, some hot pink capris. And I was just going to put on my tennis shoes and whatever. And then I was like, eh, let me dress the part, you know, because sometimes folks don't take you seriously if you don't look the part so i'm gonna look the part today so y'all see what top i got on uh i have on exactly what i had on when i went to my um anniversary lunch date thing so you know i got in the black pants my ballerina slippers and then my little beautiful top from pennies you know i'm a little girlfriend i don't cut her can y'all tell <sighs> um I was over that hanging around my neck. I don't know. It's something about this one I don't like. I mean, she cute. She cute. Don't get me wrong. She cute. But, yeah, I see why they discontinued her. Plus, she sheds a lot. I was like, oh, my goodness. I kept, I was doing something. You know how you just kind of do like this and kind of make the curls bounce back? And I would do this, and I had all these little stragglers. So, that, that's why I ended up cutting her. Because I was like, clip, clip. And then, next thing you know, bloop, she's short up here. But she's still long in the back. So, just doing something different till Friday come and I can hit up the beauty supply store because I will be hitting her up. Going back to Miss Natasha. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to go and pick up Miss Natasha and, you know, get it right. I don't know if I'm going to do, um, I actually want to buy two. I want to buy one that's black and then one, a 1B30. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm still debating, trying to figure out how I'm going to wear this hair for, uh, for, um, my trip my sister is saying this style or whatever the length and the massiveness of it um she was saying i will probably sweat a whole lot so but you know i have no problem with pinning up a wig now i pin it up throw a ponytail in a minute you know and i figure if i'm gonna be in the house and it's air conditioned i'm gonna be in a facility you know it's air conditioned i'll be okay only time i'm gonna have an issue <laughs> is when we go to the amusement park then i'll be like um yeah i'm gonna need that good young clip to pin that sucker up so and i'll have me a cute little headband or something you know one of my little black bands or something cover them edges so i think i'll be all right but you know whatever and i'm going to have fun i ain't going to you know totally impress somebody especially when we go to the amusement park you know miss penna gonna want me to get on them them rides that y'all know i ain't trying to ride this stuff i'm like whoo thank you lord she has cousins that are older that can sit with her whoo that's a blessing of course it would be nice if it was a balanced number you know our numbers kind of get tricky because somebody always feel like they're left out but they're grown so they shouldn't feel too left out but uh anyway so Y'all can tell I'm nervous, right? Got this meeting. <laughs> uh, this is not with the big boss, but it's the it's the level that I report to boss. So, and you know that those meetings can go one or two ways, and then of course 
I have to turn all the way around because you know we got bike lanes in our city. I don't know why. Let me let me get this out. Pet peeve time. I don't know why we have bike lanes in Minnesota. Let me tell you why. Because we have winter for six months out of the year. So those lanes are covered. I mean, granted, we got a lot more people who get in these bikes with the big old snow tires on them that look like, you know, truck tires on a bike. But still. But now they got these bike lanes, they got these rules and regulations. You only can cross the line if it's a green little whatever pattern thing. It's just crazy. And those bikers, they still don't abide by the rules. So they be doing stuff, weaving out of lanes. And I'm like, your lane's over there. This is my lane, right? You know, they don't care. So anyway, but I will tell you the reason why they did put them here. Um, for those who don't know, my, my father-in-law was injured significantly um back in 08 he was riding a bike and within the the week of him being hit there was like five ooh, five people at least that was hit all in the same week like in a five day seven day span and um out of the, the five people that were hit i think two were fatalities his could have been so you know and people were rallying like you know our bikers you know whatever so he was part of that i guess you would say part of that protest or part of the you know argument or whatever to get the bike lane so anyway uh, so i understand why they're there but you know some of these these motorists they still don't care and will hit a biker in a minute because <clears throat> there was a biker hit not too long ago but anyway so Whew. So I was having difficulty with these sunglasses. I don't like these. I can't remember where I got them. Um, I don't know if I got these at Sears. I don't know if these came from Pennies. They don't tell me. But anyway, I mean, they're okay. This is what they look like or whatever. But they don't have a... Um, I don't know. They don't sit up on my head right. You know, because you know how I like to throw my glasses up on my head. But um, my glasses that I had got from Pennies last year, I think I had bought... How many pair did I buy? I bought like three, three pair. I know I gave one pair to baby girl and I kept two for myself and they were all South Pole. I got them for like five and six bucks. Man, one pair I can't find completely. The other pair I broke. I dropped them. The lens popped out. I went to put the lens in and went cock eyed like that. And so I was trying to get Bossman put in. He couldn't get it in either. It was like, it was the way it was in there. It's just, it won't pop back. And so I got to get rid of my glasses. And they were so cute. But anyway, it is what it is. But I know I'll be getting something soon. I got me a 10 off of 10 coupon for JC Pennies. Yes, I do. Uh, it goes from April 26th to May 13th. So you know I'm about to use that. But then... I was thinking about, you know, just going shopping with it, but I might do things with that coupon. I don't know. We'll see. But I might have to be getting me some sunglasses. How about that? So, I'm almost here. And you know what? I have to come back downtown again tomorrow because I have a mandatory three-hour training. Mandatory. I'm like, man. This is second mandatory training in, what, a week? Because we had one last Monday, which was... Oh my gosh. And then we have one this coming Thursday. So, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm not going to complain because I still have my job. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. But I'm ready. I'm armed and ready with what I need. So... And I think my cube mate has come in today. And I really need to use something in our cube today. So I don't know. I might have to sit somewhere else. Mm. <sighs> I'm nervous. But I'm going to come back. So I'm not going to end this vlog right here. I'm going to pause it for sure. But um, I'm going to come back after my meeting is over. So I can just, you know, give you a... You know, things went as, as I expected. Or, you know... Things were better than I expected. I already have an expectation. That's just what it is. Um, and of course, you know, I can't go into detail. But I can say it either happened how expected or, you know, it went better than expected. 
So I always side on the side of uh, the worst case scenario. People say you shouldn't do that, but you know, <laughs> I do. So, <sighs> but I, I'm a go guys. Cause I'm getting ready to turn up in the, the ramp or whatever parking, not ramp, the parking garage. And I want to go ahead on and get my prayers in, you know, it's already written how it's going to go down. I know that, you know, I know in my heart of hearts, it's already written how it's going to go down. So, but you know, sometimes that's when, I know that's when faith is supposed to kick in. Cause it's like, man, can I just know ahead of time? Can I just, please just, I already have that heads up. I don't like surprises, but because I've already been doing field research, <laughs> there's no surprise. So let me get my, uh, my call them up time in and I come back, uh, towards the end of this video. Bye. Hey everybody. I'm coming back from my meeting and it went very well very well I was very prepared and uh, it worked in my favor well I put it this way it worked in God's favor so you know in the beginning of this video I had said you know I was a little concerned and everything uh, about this meeting you know because I mean who's not I mean you you know, a person can say, well, I know I did, blah, 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 but then, you know, someone always can come back and say, well, you didn't do X, Y, and Z. So, no, I just, I'm to a point of being transparent, and uh, it worked in my favor. I'm glad I dressed for the part, though, you know, because if I remember in the beginning of this video, I said something about, you know, actually, I was very casual, but then I turned around and dressed for the part. I'm glad I dressed for the part because she saw how it was presented and you know nails was done hair was done clothes looking cute you know not just raggedy and just like i don't care just you know whatever so um it turned out to be a great meeting it just you know presentation was right the lighting was right <laughs> the element was right you know i was prayed up i had my mama praying for me you know, so it was good. It was really, really good. Even my team, <laughs> even my team was like, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, boss lady. We got you. I was like, cool. So it was very, very enlightening. And um, I know what needs to be done, you know, to, to maintain. You know, I know what has been asked of me. I put it that way. I know what has been asked of me, what I need to do, and uh, I'm making it my mission to, to make it through. So, it's good. I'm good. I feel good. I feel confident. Um, I'm not so confident that I'm cocky, though. You know, and I even said, you know, there's always room for improvement. You know, I want to improve on this. I want to improve on that. So, you know, I think years past, I used to go into those meetings like, I ain't did nothing wrong. I, you know, and you can't be like that, especially when you're dealing with, you know, management or whatever. Because number one, it's not your company. So, <laughs> you know, you got to, you got to do what they say do or, you know, find a new place to work. So, you know, but I also wanted to convey that I do love what I do. I, I love it. And, you know, but. I always can side on the side of more training. I love to go to training. No problem for me, you know. Um, even as far as, you know, dealing with difficult people, whether it's employees or, uh, you know, whether it's staff or clients or whatever. So, you know, um, and I think by me being transparent, it worked. Um, I think I might have told you guys that, you know, I've been doing a different different style of Bible study. Then again, maybe now. I don't think I went into detail about that. Oh, let me stop. I'll roll right through that stop sign. But anyway, I've been doing a different way of Bible studying, and it has been working in my favor. And, you know, this week, I haven't been so caught up like I was a couple weeks ago, so I need to catch, do some catch up, which I will once, um, once I'm off work and, you know, have some downtime or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I've been studying the word. I've been applying it to my life. 
and you know I've been having those talks I heard I think I heard it somewhere or I read it somewhere that when you wake up at a certain hour especially if you wake up at that same hour every night that's God's way of getting your attention and so you know I've been waking up and having conversations with the Lord you know what I mean so I'm not trying to get too spiritual but I'm just saying that because I've been on this different walk or whatever it's it's working in my favor you know trusting him not just stressing out um getting to the point of being so stressed because i'll get stressed over bills i'll get stressed over you know groceries or whatever stressed over school stuff and you know i would always hear in my mind do you trust me so i have been trusting and believing but i've been very transparent too so you know and i know for a lot of times you know people will try to silence me like don't say this or don't do that but um i've been working on my delivery approach <laughs> i've been praying on that uh, i have been really so you know but i've been working very hard lately and i think it worked in my favor this time around with the meeting that i had i've been doing a lot of um I will not say brown nosing. I will not, because boss lady, that's not what she do. Her nose is very brown. But um, I have been having more talks with upper management just to, you know, fill them out, you know, see see what they're thinking or whatever, you know. And uh, it's worked in my favor. So I'm appreciative to that, you know. But they do know boss lady is boss lady. She likes to do her own thing and you know, she don't like to be bothered, so, <laughs> oh, but it's just, that's just me, but anyways, guys, I am almost to the house, yay, almost to the house, and I'm getting ready to, um, getting ready to go back to work, work on some things that, uh, that we talked about, and call it a day, I do have some calls I need to do, so I need to try to see if I can get those done, prior to picking up Missy. I didn't think I didn't think about it while I was down there that I have to pick her up from school today and I should have stayed down at work cuz if I was stayed at work I would have been halfway to her. But it's good. I'm gonna leave in about 2 hours. Uh-oh. I'm gonna leave in 2 hours pick her up and then, you know, that be that. I'm loving my Powerade. I love my Powerade. You know, the little different little vitamins and stuff in it. Um, my doctor had told me to, if they want me to start taking calcium supplements. So who got time for that? I'm like, you take me off one pill and try to put me on another? Mm. But because I'm getting to that other type of age range, you know, got to protect them bones. So... I'm trying to find a lot more things that have calcium in it so I don't have to. But anyway. So I think that's so cute. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with Boss Lady with her little uh stressfulness vlog about that meeting. But I'm so thankful. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> anyway, thankful that it's over. It's over. I don't have to look at that meeting again. That type of meeting until Ooh, 2019. Even though we will be having what's called quarterly meetings, but if I start doing what we talked about today, those meetings will be whew, a piece of cake. So, but let me go back to work, guys, because I have to actually go back down there tomorrow. But I'm actually going to the library. I have a class. Ooh, which would be nice. I'll be away from my phone for a while. So I will just see everybody in a new video. Have a great day and have a great night. Bye-bye.